Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. I've been away for about two weeks because the holidays and my son came from California, which made it extra special, but time to get ready for the new year. So we're back in the kitchen. And first off, I wanna thank all of you who responded and messaged us yesterday when I posted the reel for our anniversary. The years are flying and it was so sweet to hear from so many of you. Thank you again. So what we're going to do today is what my family does traditionally for Chris, uh, for New Year's, not Christmas. Christmas is over now for New Year's. Now we are an Italian family, so this is our tradition. We live in the South and I know there's a lot of uh, black eyed peas and collards being made tonight, which are fantastic. But what I'm gonna show you is our Italian tradition. So we're doing two videos today. The first is lentils. We're doing a lentil soup with roasted winter vegetables. I had this recipe on my blog years ago. It was very popular, but this is traditional, an Italian household to do lentils. And the second video we're going to do is casatelle because that's what my family did. Now these are traditional for car Carnevale in Italy, um, for different holidays people make them. My family, my grandmother and my Aunt Katie would be up close to midnight frying because we did them for New Year's. So come back for that. I made my fresh ricotta at 5.30 this morning. It's in the fridge, it's drained, good to go. And if you need a ricotta recipe, I do have one, um, look it up on my page. I do not use lemon or vinegar. This is very pure tasting, it's delicious. It's the way it's done in Italy. So here we go. What I have here is about two cups each of carrot, parsnip, and sweet potato diced up. I have two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, and a decent pinch of salt. I'm going to mix this up, put it on a roasting pan, and we're gonna roast them at 375, probably 30, 35 minutes. Keep an eye on them flip them over and give it a stir once in a while till they're just slightly browned. So we'll be back when that happens. Alrighty, while the veggies are roasting, we're gonna get started on the base of our soup. So let me show you what we have here. I have some balsamic vinegar. I have about a cup and a half of lentils. I have a quarter cup of white wine. I have six cups of chicken stock, my homemade stock, use what you have. You might need a little more, so I have more set aside. If it's too thick at the end, we'll thin it out. I have a really good sized red onion diced, about four shallots diced. Um, I have probably five or six, they were on the small side, cloves of garlic minced up very fine. I have four ounces of pancetta and I have probably about a tablespoon of fresh thyme diced up. And I have three of the inner stems, including the leaves of celery sliced up. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do Over medium heat, we are going to, I'm waiting for the oil to get hot, we're going to crisp up the pancetta. Then we'll remove it and go on from there. So, yeah. Okay, we're gonna wait for the pancetta to be nice and crisp, and then we'll be back. Okay, we took our shallots out, they're nice and crisp. And in the fat, in the bottom of the pan, we're going to add our celery, our onions, and our shallots. I'm going to keep the heat a little on the low side, maybe three or four. And we want to saute these until they're nice golden brown. 
So stir up from the bottom, coat these vegetables. Now I'm not doing it today, but just so you know, I have done this soup and it's delicious where I've roasted sausage. Chicken sausage is delicious. Roasted it in the oven and at the end sliced it up and thrown that in there and make it a one top meal. It is delicious. But we'll be back when these are nicely browned. The vegetables are almost ready to come out of the oven. I'll set them aside. See you in a few. All right. So our vegetables have gotten nicely browned. Nice golden color. We're going to add in our chopped thyme, our garlic, some pepper, good amount of pepper, and a tablespoon, approximately, maybe a little more, of balsamic. Mix this up, let that garlic infuse its flavor into the vegetables along with the balsamic. Ooh, this smells yummy already. Now we're going to add the quarter cup of wine. And we're going to deglaze, scrape up any bits on the bottom, stir them in, brown its flavor. As Ann Burrell says, it's absolutely true. Okay, we are going to add in our lentils, about a cup and a half I have here, our pancetta, and we're gonna use about four cups of the stock for right now. So let's see, we're gonna leave about two cups to add with the vegetables later. Awesome. Had to set that down without dirtying my stove top. Stir it up. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil, reduce the heat, cover it, and simmer for about 30 minutes. And then we'll be back. We have our vegetables here out of the oven, ready to go and we'll add them then. So let me get the cover, simmer for about 30 minutes. All right, so this has been simmering for 15 minutes with the vegetables. Set that down. It is pretty thick and that's fine. I'm going to add my greens, my baby kale and baby spinach. And this will probably take about two minutes for it to wilt down into pretty much nothingness. Stir it in. I should have had a bigger pot. And in about two minutes, this is good to go. Taste for salt and pepper, taste for balsamic. If you want a stronger balsamic taste, I tend to like a little bit more than my husband. So you can put a drizzle on individual bowls. I'm going to put this aside until tonight. And as you can see, I'm getting set up here for our next video, our Sicilian Casatelle, which is a little mini sweetened ricotta. They look like little mini calzones actually. And it is what my family traditionally serves on New Year's for dessert. So I am just going to take a little bit for a taste, just a tiny bit. Mm. Tons of flavor from the vegetables, from the balsamic. It's absolutely perfect. I'm turning it off because this is going to set aside and these will wilt down completely. This will be a fabulous dinner tonight. My husband likes his lentil soup with pasta, so I will probably 
what I'm going to probably do is cook some ditalini or a small pasta and I might add a little bit more stock to this because it is very thick and then I will put the cooked pasta in the bottom of a bowl and spoon this on top. If you mix the pasta in, it's going to absorb any liquid that's in there. So, buon cibo, buon amici, good food, good friends. The La Chicala family wishes you a happy, blessed, and joyous new year. Come back later and try our casatelle. Bye.